called and asked, are you coming? Greg Zanis started making his crosses. The sound of drilling replaces the sound of gunfire. These crosses offer hope to those who may have lost theirs. Today I'm making 59 crosses. I originally started out to make 50, so this morning I made nine more. Greg Zanis will pack up his truck and head 1,800 miles west and set up a memorial for the Las Vegas victims and their families. He needs 200 feet to fit all these crosses, the most he's ever made at one time. This row of crosses will show the severity of what really happened there, more so than numbers and pictures in the paper. Each cross will have a heart attached. He's also bringing Stars of David for Jewish victims. He writes the names and glues pictures of those victims on each one. And I already know it'll be a magnet. People will come and they'll start writing messages on these crosses. They're going to start leaving candles and teddy bears. 20 years and 20,000 crosses later, Greg's not sure how he's kept up. Just one cross at a time, he tells me. His nickname of crybaby is more apropos today than ever. I think it's important we all have a big cry. Greg wants to get on the road after midnight. He already got a donation for gas to get to Las Vegas. Now he just needs a place to stay. If you can help him not sleep in his car, there's a GoFundMe page on our website, WGNTV.com, where you can donate. Reporting from Aurora, Marcia.